It ain't twins in there, is it? Come on, girl, push a little bit. Is he alive, Jerry? The general public has a very large misconception of what we do anymore. So, if you didn't farm, what would you do? Hmm. I don't know. Probably nothing. <laughs> I'm not supporting you. Uh, <laughs> I think he knew what he wanted to do when he was six. I don't know what he would do if he didn't have farming. His first noises were tractor sounds. And he started from there, just from there on out. He's always been into agriculture. Well, I didn't want to marry a farmer at all. Um, <laughs> and look at you now. <laughs> look at us now. My mom always said that I'd never marry a farmer. <laughs> and, I, and you're in deep. I'm in real, real deep. deep. <laughs> <laughs> We're pretty proud of it. I think Dad would be proud of it. I don't think he'd ever seen a crop like this in his lifetime either, I don't believe, so. His dad and him were super, super close. Really, really close. When we was diagnosed with cancer, Nicholas kept saying, Dad, retire, get out and go back and do what you can. He says, farm with me, do what you can, because that's what you love. And that year and a half before he passed, every day he was with Nicholas. Since his dad passed away, he doesn't have that go-to person. And I, I think at times, you know, he'll call or he'll make some uh, comment to me, or what do you think? I don't tell him what to do. I try to stay away from that because it's his business and he needs to make that decision. But uh, I feel like I can be there for him and it's good when I can be. So I really enjoy doing that for him. Uncle David filled a void that it still bothers me. You know, dad's not here. Dad was the one that if you had a problem, you could call him and say, dad, what do we need to do? We couldn't do a lot of things without him. Okay, okay, we'll meet you over there. It's gonna take all of us to probably get her up, isn't it? Come on, we'll help. Come on. Spin all the way down. Jared, sir, thank you. Mm. Yeah. Marino, you there? open the trailer. All right. You got to see a good live birth today. Live birth's better than a dead birth. Come on, mama. That's our livelihood. Your children are your livelihood. Therefore, you do whatever you have to do to protect them and keep them healthy to have a healthy life. And that little calf that we just saved, if we had waited another half hour to an hour, that would have been a life lost that we had to do whatever we had to do to save that calf. And that's what we've done. He started from nothing, absolutely nothing, except the love and the desire to do it. We can't be proud of one thing. No. Because if it wasn't for everything, it wouldn't be the farm that it is. Right. I couldn't do what I do or be home without you. And I, I feel like I <laughs> I'm an asset to the farm and you couldn't operate without me. We're just proud of everything we've got. 
because we didn't have anything gave to us. It's all ours. Right. Oh, I think Gene's smiling from ear to ear right now. <laughs> you know. Uh -oh. He's pretty proud. Do you know he can hear everything that I'm doing? <laughs>